I'm a business guy. I'm reading books. I got a million things on my mind. I'm like, man, I, I don't see value in me reading books. I, it's wasting four hours of my time. And I'm probably going to leave thinking to remember two things about books. How do you memorize the content? Not necessarily memorize, but consume the best part of the content. Is there a method to that madness as well or no? Yes, there is. And so what I would say is with what we jumped to right here was with numbers, maybe the most difficult thing to grasp and understand. And and so let me jump to the the most easiest thing to understand with memory and then show you how you could use that easiest thing to remember what you read. So there's a technique that it goes back 2,500 years. I didn't come up with it. It's called the mind palace or the memory palace. And it is what I used when I set the record for the fastest to memorize a deck of cards. Right now I'm memorizing uh, a constitution, the U.S. Constitution. I'm using... It's craziness. Yeah, right. 4,500 words you were saying, That's right? That's right. Yeah. That's right. So it's called the mind palace. And here's the idea to it. Everybody right now that's watching or listening to this interview, you could close your eyes and visualize your house. You could visualize, okay, I'm standing in the front door. Right over here is my refrigerator. This is my stove. This is my sink. This is, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. Go all the way around your house. Mm -hmm. We all already have our homes memorized. So let's use that to our benefit. Let's imagine, pretend right now, you're standing in the doorway to your house and the doorway opens. What would be immediately to your left? Uh, my office. Your office. So let's go into the office. Now we're standing at the doorway of the office. What's immediately to your left? The table made out of uh, ceramic that my dad made with uh, PHP's logo on and when it got started with a chess on top of it and a painting of Lincoln to the left. Wow, so yeah. that's visual. Yeah. Now you love Lincoln. Yeah, Abraham Lincoln. oh no doubt, yes. Wow, I, I want to hear that story yes. sometime. Uh, so on that table, yeah. I want you to imagine a washing machine, okay? So imagine the washing machine's going around, yep. soap's flying out. Yep. So you got it? Yep. So you just told me that there's a table there, and then next to it's the picture of Lincoln. Mm -hmm. On the picture of Lincoln, I want you to imagine there's a dam, and Abraham Lincoln pictures holding back water behind that dam, and maybe the dam breaks. Okay. okay. What's, let's go, let's do, let's do five in this room. So that's one, two. What's the next piece of furniture over? If I'm going left, then what's to the right? Well, let's keep going around the room clockwise. So, so let's go around them clockwise. So, okay, so if I went left, I just told you what's on the left side, Lincoln painting and uh, ceramic table. There's a washing machine on top of it with the painting holding the dam. If you keep going around, there's boxes sitting there with my uh, uh, Sonos mic that I haven't installed yet from the old house because I moved into this new house. That's in that corner. On, on the, so it's boxes? Multiple, 12 boxes. Okay. On those boxes, let's have a chef over there. And your, the chef is cooking your favorite okay. meal. What would your favorite meal sushi. be? Sushi. Sushi. Cooking sushi or whatever. Yeah. Ta look at those boxes and taste the sushi. Okay. So now we've got a washing machine, we've got a dam, and we've got a chef. Okay. Let's go. We're going to do two more. One more over. What's the next piece of furniture? It's going to be my uh, leather uh, chair that I have uh, right behind my desk. Okay. On that leather chair, imagine you're sick, you're throwing up, you're just terribly sick. You sit down in that chair and you take your medicine, you're taking NyQuil, you're taking Tylenol, medicine's all over the chair. So what's in the chair? It's me, I'm taking medicine, it's NyQuil all over the chair. Very good. Okay. One more last one in that room, what's the furniture? The furniture is a uh, uh, old classic uh, presidential type of a desk that's sitting there. I don't know how to describe it, but it's a, it's a presidential desk. Awesome. Yeah. So on that desk, I want you to imagine there's a guy in a rowboat, and he's rowing a boat, and he's just rowing a boat down Across the desk. table. Okay. Across, you got yep. that? Yep. Going back through the room now, uh -huh. what were the five, can you remember the five pictures? Let's start at the table. Um, What's on top of it is a dishwasher. Correct. Yeah. Lincoln is holding back a dam. Right. On top of the uh, microphones is uh, my chef making sushi for me. On the uh, leather chair, I uh, have a NyQuil all over the place because I spilled it all over the place. And there's a guy on top of the table rowing a boat. Booyah. That's yeah. it. All right. Perfect. So what I just did is I took the first five presidents of the United States, turned their last names into a picture. So on the first one, we got a washing machine for Washington. On the next one, we got a dam for Adams, a dam Adams. On the next one, we got a chef for Jefferson, old Thomas Jefferson, right? Jefferson, Jefferson. The next one, medicine for Madison. And the next one, Monroe for Monroe. So I've literally taught 
six-year-old kids to memorize the presidents of the United States this way. And they'll, they'll memorize the presidents in like 60 minutes. And they're, they're seven, eight years old. Unbelievable. Yeah. It's called the Mind Palace. And I wish I could say I'm a genius. I came up with it. Yeah. But you just see how easy it is. So let's say you got a book. I don't recommend people memorize as they read. I recommend they have a highlighter or a pen or a notepad over here, and as they read, they highlight or underline sure. the key points. Which is what most people do. Correct. Okay. And then when they get to the end of the chapter or the end of the book, now you got all this stuff underlined or highlighted. Yeah. Just go through it, turn each one of those things into pictures, and imagine them around your mind palace or your memory palace. I would say almost everything I memorize. I use this method, the mind palace or the memory palace method, which is visualizing stuff around a room. So I guess the next step after you would really, what the really the next step would be is to build your mind palace. So the way I would do it or the way I did do it and the way I would recommend anybody do it is stand in the doorway of every room in your house like we did and number five pieces of furniture going clockwise around the room. Do that in room number one, room number two, room number three, room number four. Do at least five rooms and get yourself 20 pieces of furniture numbered in your house. So you sure. can say them forwards and backwards. Yep. Then the next step is, is take whatever it is you want to learn to remember mm -hmm. or memorize. Mm -hmm. And next time you want to remember it, I'm in a meeting with you and you say, hey, Ron, you know, don't forget to call Brian. So immediately I see a telephone Brian is a brain for me, and I'm putting that on the number one location. Mm. So you can be, and I, and I hate to dumb it down and say use this to remember your things to do list because I think it can be such more beneficial information, but that's one example right there. Mm -hmm.